So I made a spreadsheet calculator for energy shield and life and resists, and people kind of liked it actually. Um, I made it for myself uh, because I tend to use it when I gear up a character and stuff like that. I'll not get into that too much. Um, but so I posted it so everyone else could use it if they wanted to. Um, I posted it on Reddit and people actually liked it. Uh, there's the previous post on here. So I made a new post since the name of the post was kind of misleading to what it is now. Now it's much more. Um, but the link is here. Uh, I will leave both in the description of the video. Um, and you put in everything. Like if, if there's something you want to calculate, you just put it in and it should calculate everything for you. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, energy shield you put in here from your items. Uh, these are all items out here. Uh, these are all items. But when I say items, I mean rings and chests and whatever flat stuff you have on there. So if you have flat life, flat strength, flat energy shields, flat intelligence, and so on. Um, resistance, dexterity, and stuff like that. Um, you put it in here. Um, if you have a a shield, you put in the number here, if you have the block chance number, if you have a staff, you put it in here, if you have, if you're dual wielding, well, you can use either of these, it doesn't matter if you put your shield in here or your staff in here, it doesn't matter, it's just to make it so people can keep track of it. Um, dual wielding, please put it in one of these slots as well, because, yeah, just do that. Um, Besides that, uh, so you put in your increased maximum energy shield from the tree, uh, and it calculates everything down here. Your, uh, if you have a discipline gym, uh, I've put out the, the numbers out here, so just go to what level. If you have a level 18 gym, for instance, then it's 269 energy shield given. You put that number in here, and everything is fine. Okay, next we have the life calculator. You get life based on your character level. You also have some base life in the beginning anyways. Um, flat life, uh, passive tree, jewels, oak, and so on. You put everything here. Um, I could have made one which was just oak, but really if you, you, you should be able to remember if you have oak or not. Um, and it calculates your total life. Then you have a physical, elemental, chaos, taken calculation. Um, and you have like flasks here. Uh, if, you, if you have a flask, well, obviously not 1k, 3k, I just pulled around with it. Um, so yeah, let's just put it back just to do that. Um, you have some suffixes, you have some prefixes, you have uh, flask effects, buffs and uh, non-curse, fortify, increased armor from passives and jewels, uh, nature spoon, and you have uh, arctic armor, the physical part and fire part, um, you have chaos column, endurance charges. So this red field here means that I haven't actually added it to the calculation, so if you put something in here it doesn't matter, it's not calculated. Um, I will add these later, but I just wanted to get the basic, basics going. Um, and then you have to imagine the how big the hit is yourself. So you either need to like know how much you're going to be hit for, um, or just imagine, okay, I want to be able to survive a 5k hit. Can I do that? Um, and that's up to yourselves to find out how much uh, damage you actually mitigate and so on. Um, or it will calculate that for you, obviously, if you have put in the numbers. Um, the reason why it's like that is I, it doesn't make too much sense if I just say you're always going to be hit for 5k, then at level 1 you're not going to have such a good time. Um, anyways, so all the purple fields are the calculations. And then we have evasion chance calculation and evasion the, this calculation is only based of 
one attack. So if you can evade one attack, if you're going to be attacked twice by the same monster within a five or a six second um, interval <clears throat> period, then you are going to have to use another calculator because um, that would include entropy and random pseudo random number generation between 0 and 19 and stacking these numbers that you get here and, and so on. Um, so that is not a part of it, but you can see how big the chance is to evade the first hit of any one monster based on their accuracy, uh, either melee or ranged or both, with the current setup you have. Uh, personally, I actually find it useful just to get an idea of what's going on. Um, and you just plug in the numbers again. Um, I want to say one thing, so flask effects here and flask effects in, well, down here for instance, um, these are not added together, so you can add, if you have 25%, add it both places if you want to know. Um, okay, Dutch chance, uh, this calculates, well, Dutch chance, uh, Val grades here, um, the first level is is 24, then it's next two levels are 25, the next two are 26, the next two are 27, and so on. The last is, is 39. Um, if you have a 30 gem, let me know. Um, anyways, then you have like unique items um, that give Dutch chance and so on. Um, you have uh, Dutch chance and spell Dutch chance. You have uh, combined with with evasion, so uh, first evasion is calculated, then dust chance is calculated. Um, so I've, I've added those together if you wanted to know how good your survivability is with both evasion and dodge. Um, then you have block, uh, and here we have, uh, this is just summing up numbers basically. Um, so you just have taste of hate and all these items down here, and then you just sum it up. Um, they can this the, the block chance and the spell block chance cap at seventy five both of them. Um, Anvil does add three to block chance, so you can have this to, uh, or you can think of this as as seventy eight if you have the anvil. Um, it doesn't really matter too much, uh, in my opinion. Uh, one thing that does matter is that um, your spell block chance is actually calculated of your block chance without the cap. So if you have 150 block chance, um, then your your spell block chance is actually calculated of that block chance and not just the cap of 75. So keep that in mind. Um, there are no restrictions here. So if you if you like take, uh, what do we take here? Oops. If we say the taste of hate is giving you a hundred block chance, you can see here that it doesn't restrict anything; it just goes up. So also keep that in mind. Uh, if if you accidentally add hundred here or something like that, you don't have two hundred and and seventy or thirty seven block chance. Um, that is just you have to at least think a little bit. Um, these down here are things that I want to add, but I haven't, such things as lightning coil, mind over matter and stuff I thought would be useful, but I kind of wanted to add everything else and then add these later. So this is the basic um, part of the spreadsheet. Um, I hope it's useful. Uh, basically all I wanted to use when I made it was this energy shield calculator and then also uh, my resistance down here. That was basically what it started out as. Uh, then I thought, okay, I can add this live here because it's very easy. Um, and then just I posted it on Reddit and people asked me if I could add other stuff, so I did. Um, I'm not saying that the math here is perfect because I know it isn't. Uh, there are probably some floors here and there. Uh, and if you find any, please let me know because I want to correct it so it doesn't like uh, trick people into thinking that they are invincible. Um, so yeah, let me know. Um, and that's basically it for a small guide of how this works.